So, gentlemen, let us tell war stories. <laughs> Reverend Russell, didst thou know that Mr. Fletcher here served in Mosley's company in the war? Aye. A band of corsairs and privateers who left their ships to fight in the colony's defence. And a great injury they did make upon the Indian enemy too. Is that not so, Mr. Fletcher? Tis not so. We were dock rats and cut purses. Dragged from the six oak floors of Boston Arbor public houses. And pressed into service. Under a mad rogue, for whom murder was a pleasure. Oh, this cannot be! I have heard thou didst great service in the war. Most of me service was done in praying Indian towns. Assailing those that Mosley suspected of giving succor to the enemy. Ah, uh, this is Quaker talk. And what are the great battles? Bloody Brook, Turner's Falls, the fight i the snow, athwart the Narragansett. Twas no fight. It was a massacre. I set one long house of fire that had at least four families within it. There were gaps in the wall just large enough for a small child to wriggle out. And we shot them. We shot them as they ran away. We shot them. Through the body. And we took care ne'er to spoil the head. For there are Canadians who will pay three English pounds for an Indian head. And children's heads are lighter. What vim, what martial valor, base slander of a most unmannerly kind. Tis the Indian savages that commit such barbarous acts, not Englishmen, not good Christian soldiers. Tell me then, Russell, what dost thou know of good Christian soldiery? Aye, Russell, tell us. I would have fain join the militia myself. But it pleased God that I should remain in Sudbury, ministering to me congregation. <laughs> <laughs> Give the book a night. Get thee to bed, Reverend. Till tomorrow. <laughs>